Right. Something like the 27th of October 2021 and it's a very dull day but it's very mild for this time of year. It's about 16, 17 or 18 degrees outside, maybe more, they said. Anyway, I've got on the bus from Weston at 9 o'clock and I've got over here about 10 to um, Westbury Submendip. I've just walked up a nice steep hill, up back lane, and uh, there's public footpath and here's the hills. Now I mainly see sheep in the field coming up. But any, a lot of the cows I have seen have been still standing further over, but also big herds lying down. Um, whenever I've come here in the past, it's, I think it's been November usually, and uh, the cows have always been taken out the field. Now from further back I couldn't see cows, only sheep. But they do often mix cows and sheep together these days. So, but it's very dull. This is a just a series of little videos I'll be doing. Um, the aim is to head for Priddy to St Lawrence Church, then walk across the fields to Ebber Gorge, and instead of doing the Cheddar route, coming back to Cheddar, I'm going to go to Wells, W E W L S. If I have time. I will pop in the cathedral and see the big globe, the big planet they've got hanging from the cathedral roof inside. I think they did that at, um, I think that planet or whatever it is or moon travels around the country and it's Wells Cathedral's turn. I believe that's right. And it's suspended inside the church from the ceiling, uh, you know, the main uh, aisles. But that's if I've got time. I could have done it that way first, but I thought, no, I really wanted to go to Priddy. Um, once I've done this big climb now, I can only see sheep, thank goodness. Once I've done this big climb up, go up. There's a path up there I'll be climbing up. Um, there will be no more hills for me. Once I get up this bit, it's all flat, flat, you know, and all that sort of thing. It's not very good, for, like I said, it's a terrible day for photography. A terrible day. I'm keeping my fingers crossed. There's no sign on the gate, by the way. Normally, when the cows are here, and you can see a piece of old string here, they have a sign on saying Bull Infield. Um, but they haven't. It's got to be at least two years, or three years since I've done this. Two years, I've written a good two years. Um, Cooksfield Nature Reserve, this is what this area is known as. I see sheep. Now if there were cows, it's possible that, lots of sheep poo, there is cow pack there. It is possible there are cows, that looks quite fresh. Um, they might be hiding, lying down somewhere. But if I can get up on that path, get to the gate, I'll work out other escape routes if necessary. Um, they might have just been taken out. They might have been put in a field lower down. But they normally have a sign on here. If there's a bull. So. All we've got to do is keep our fingers crossed. They could be lying just the other side of that bush, for example. Um, I've just seen a big herd lying down, right down there. Whether they can get in this field, I don't know. But while they're down there, they're not bothering me. There's sheep are lying down as well. I haven't brought an umbrella. I have bought waterproof trousers. I'm hoping I can do this walk. It's not, I'm saying it's not a big walk. It is quite a big walk. Um, I could make it shorter if I wanted to. Um, 
I'm going uphill. It's quite a big hill I'm climbing. Just trod in some sheep poo. <sighs> They're all lying down as well. <sighs> Westbury Subman dips down there. Glastonbury Tor, I just zoom in, it's right over there. Like I said, it's a terrible day for photos and video today. Terrible. Um, I know there's a gate up there. I've seen a farmer coming through there before now. Right, so what I'm going to do is turn off it. Wait a minute though. I can see cows now, look. I can see a cow. What we'll have to do is uh, keep a low profile, I think. Keep a low profile, there are cows. There are cows, everyone. Turn it off for a minute. Right, I'm just gonna place that there while I have a drink of water. There, were, there are cows in there. They're further down, some were sat down, but they never saw me once. What I did, I went a route I'd never taken before, did a lower one, then came up. Behind me, not far, there's another gate I've got to get through. And I can only see sheep, but it doesn't mean there's not cows just hiding in the bracken. So, I'm quite pleased with myself so far. We're nearly up the top of what I call the big hill. And it's time for a drink. Time for a drink of Nestle's Pure Life. I'll have some picnic stuff when I get hot off the hill. Well, we've done the really steep part of the climb, actually. This is the steep part that I just climbed up and you can from, I don't know if the camera can pick it out, but over there is Brent Knoll, that way there's Crook's Peak, but it's slightly, very small from here. Behind us to the, our left is um, Glastonbury Tor. I didn't want the cat, the reason I skirted lower down before coming up is I didn't want the cows to actually see me at all. And it looks like, oh, it looks like I've, I've done it and that wasn't a bad way of doing it actually. Um, I think the other route that I normally come is extremely steep. So by skirting down the bottom there, we've done quite well for ourselves really. And the cows are over there. We might see them in a minute when I climb up a bit higher. So it's like I said, in the, this is video two. These were probably might never get shown because basically it's a very, very dull day indeed. Now you can go back to Cheddar that way. There's a route there I've done before going over to where there's a flag on a pole. So there's lots of history over there. Uh, I do intend to have another go at it another time. <sighs> I'm quite pleased that I've got through so far, but we haven't got to the other gate yet. And cows have got a habit of sort of lying down. <sighs> yeah, I've struggled up there. I've struggled up there. It's a long way down, look. I was right down in the village. I've climbed up. So that's what I've been doing for the last half an hour. A steady climb up. When I get up to the next gate, I gotta go for another bit of field where there could still be cows, by the way. But there might be an alternative route. I've come up through that valley before now. And that was really rough and ready doing that. Very rough and ready. Very tickified. I'm quite pleased with myself, really, that I've managed to get up here. Okay, I am a bit breathless. I'm nearly 70. I do have asthma. 
of a type. But I've come up from right down there. Half an hour ago, I just got off the bus. So I've done quite well. All right, over and out, everyone. <laughs>